the world will not be sitting around singing kumbaya anytime soon. I don't believe that war is going where, anywhere. I don't believe that fierce competition over resources is going anywhere. I believe that the world will continue on with both the aspects of competition and cooperation. So the question is, what do you do with this knowledge? All right, and this is very important. So what I suggest you do is you start competing, okay? You be unashamed about it. I'm competing for women by staying in shape. I'm competing for money by talking to you guys. Um, I'm competing for resources from, from getting the money out of this business and all kinds of other things. And I am not ashamed about it whatsoever. I suggest you, you take on the same mentality and look at yourself as playing the game of life that you were dropped into. Okay. The other thing you want to do is you want to build your tribe. So that's cooperate or that's competition, but you also want to build a tribe based around cooperation. So you guys are like my extended tribe right here. I'm trying to spread my message as far as I can uh, for a number of different reasons, not just for um, making money, not just for helping others, but also so that I can have, eventually I'll have a, a contact in, in everywhere in the, in the continent. If I want to get projects done, I can reach out to one of you guys. Um, you know, many, many different things that I can get from, from cooperation and having a big tribe. But on a smaller level, I also have a smaller offline tribe where everyone has their own special thing that they do. I've got a friend who's, who's in real estate. I've got another friend in financial services. I've got guys who do marketing, uh, guys who do graphic design, all these things that are, that are relevant to my business and not in, co not in competition with my direct business. And there is a cooperation sphere within that tribe that is very useful and we're able to learn a lot from each other and everyone having different skills. And we are out there competing with the world. So basically you're replacing the uh, old hunter-gatherer tribe, which is what we're evolved to live in. And you're doing it within this uh, you know, massive society, which doesn't particularly do very well at, at meeting people's needs. So we just basically replace that with, with our own little tribe. And that is who we are cooperating with. And outside of that sphere, we are competing. So we're all helping each other com compete in our own niches. And, but within the tribe, it's, it's cooperation. So it's kind of the opposite of most guys' friendships, which is competition all the time. Like guys go hang out for beers and then they're just, you know, messing with, you, with each other and teasing each other and, and trying to jockey for status. And, you know, it's just a, not a very useful friendship. There's not a lot of positive thinking. There's not a, po lot, of, a lot of positive uh, talk. There's not a lot of encouragement. There's just a lot of like, you know getting on top of each other, trying to dominate each other. I mean, I remember even back to like middle school, it'd be like, you know, you go for pizza at lunch and it'd be a rush to finish. And then the, the two guys who, who, who were the slowest, everyone would already be leaving and, and leaving those guys in the dust and they'd be running behind with like their dripping pizza because it was just, you know, a savage competition at, at all times and, and really not useful for bettering yourself against the world. Um, you know, you really have to be careful on who you bring into your tribe. You want only positive people, you know, encouragement, no negative people, uh, no neutral people, no low energy people, no people who aren't ready to win. And then within the tribe, it's all about cooperation, right? I don't even, uh, I don't play sports with my close friends. I don't like, you know, really even play cards too much. You know, I save all my competition for business and I, I'm ruthless in that, you know, I'm, I'm very focused in that. And then when I'm hanging out with my friends or whichever girl I'm seeing, that is pure cooperation. That is just relaxing. That is just, you know, the other side of me. So you've got the, the competitive side and then you've got the really nice side. And so I save all that, you know, give all that extra good behavior to, to my friends and, um, you know, whatever girl I'm seeing at the time. All right. The, that's why you have people on your team. You take care of your team. It's, you know, you really, really cooperate and you each are competing outside with the world, but you're not competing within the team. That's really, really important to understand. Um, and I mean, even down to busting balls, I don't even do that. I don't even tease, um, you know, just, just small things like that. I'm always looking for how to lift up the energy, how to lift up the state and you need it in this in this life, okay? I'll tell you why. Because we are living in the greatest technical technological revolution of all time. We are in the internet revolution. We're on 
you know, internet 2.0, social media, we're going to be going into augmented reality, we're going into virtual reality, we're going into, we've got cryptocurrencies, we've got blockchain, we've got, um, you know, we don't know whether it's going to be governments or corporations who are going to be running this thing in the future. We've, we've got AI coming into play, you know, um, online marketing and sales is becoming data driven and AI driven and forget about just working a job for 50 years and living in a suburb and retiring with a gold watch that is done. Um, a lot of jobs are becoming automated. So for myself and my friends who are all entrepreneurs, a lot of us have, are making money online. It is a necessity. It is a necessity to have a tribe of smart guys because we're competing. We're trying to compete at the highest level, right? You've got guys like Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates out there, you know, I need like, I need 10 smart guys to be able to compete with one of those, you know, really, really smart guys, or even at a lower level than him, you know, I need 10 of those sharp minds all cooperating together um, to make sure that I don't have any gaps in my knowledge. Like I just saw Facebook un unveiled, like um, advertising outside of Facebook. I didn't know that, but I should have known that. Okay. Which is why I need, I need that tribe. I need more people. I need guys who are really on top of stuff. Um, and then I'm going to need people that I'm paying to, to keep me abreast of those things because it's evolving so rapidly. So the tribe is not a want. Okay. The tribe is a need in this, in this new marketplace. I, I would tell you, you can obviously survive as, you're, as an entrepreneur right now, and you can survive by yourself, but coming in the next 15, 10, 10, 15, 20 years, it's going to, it's going to be, um, you know, difficult as things change so quickly. Uh, you know, you can sell real estate now, but you really have to be on top of the game and, or, or whatever service business and, and really stay on top of it. But even then you're going to need people who, who have knowledge that you don't know. I mean, it's going to be, you're going to need data engineers at, at some point. Um, things are just changing so rapidly so that you really, really need that tribe as far as I'm concerned. Then you take all the comp competitive energy and you compete outside. Right, you go hard. Everyone has all their different skills. So if, if some guy in my tribe is making money, more money than I am, I'm, I, you know, congratulations. Right, it's not about that competition. I'm just competing in my lane. I'm just staying in my lane. So I'm competing with guys in the personal improvement sphere. The guy's selling real estate or whatever, and he's doing better. I just, I just, you know, tip my hat type of thing. And you know, you go hard. You go hard getting money. You go hard getting clients. You go hard getting women. You compete outside and you cooperate within. Um, and you just accept the nature of the world and you dropped into this game of life. And the smartest thing you can do is play the game of life, play it to the best of your ability and denying that denying that the game exists just means you're going to get played. I'll occasionally have some people who are upset with my message or they'll agree with the message, but they'll say like, I don't like it. And I'm like, that's fine. You can pretend like it doesn't exist. You can deny it. Or you can accept that it exists, but that you don't like the way the world is and that you're going to change the world. But I'll tell you this, you're going to get played in life. Okay. Some guy is going to come around and he's going to take the girls that you want. And he's going to take the money and he's going to take the resources and he's going to take the nice condo and he's going to take the things, all the things that were on the table for you. Okay. And guess what? If you actually really want to help the world, make a lot of money. Okay. Very difficult to help the world when you're making minimum wage and you can't even afford, you know, a setback on your paycheck where you're not boring off mom and dad. All right. A lot easier to help the world when you've worked really hard and you saved a lot of money and you're able to invest that into the charities that you want. That's the reality of it. Okay. So really important to keep that frame under mind combat versus cooperation. It's always a balance of those two things. Accept it, make it work for you. Don't fight it. Okay, that's the way it is. And, and play the game of life to the fullest extent.